Welcome everyone to our weekly video. I'm here in the church with Alex Riga, one of our sixth graders, and he and I are wishing you all a very joyous Easter season. And we're going to speak, though, about something, Alex, that you did during Lent, which was to be a participant in what we call the Stations of the Cross, right? And can you share with our parishioners uh, what it was like, like to play Jesus? I don't know. You're just the star of the show all along, I guess. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, you have this, like, 50 billion pound cross you have to carry. Like, 50 billion? Wow, I that's know, a heavy of co- cross. Of course it's not actually 50 billion. I gotcha. Right? Uh, but it was, was a heavy cross, and yeah. you were carrying it? Well, not. Well, the guards also help you a lot. Right. Half the time, it was half the time they, it was hard to carry. The other half of the time, they were raising it up so high that I that it didn't even look like I was carrying it. I was trying right. the whole time to to look like I was carrying it. Right, right, because that's what happened, right? So on Good Friday, right, Jesus was carrying the cross. And actually, we're filming this on Holy Thursday, the day before Good Friday. You're not seeing this until a couple weeks later, all of our parishioners here. But it's really, it's a great honor, right, to play Jesus, right? Yes, it is. It is, and it's kind of like I find like when I'm a priest and I'm celebrating Mass, I'm there at the altar, and I get to say his very words, right? This is my body, this is my blood. I always feel that's a really uh, a great honor that God gives me, and he gave you this honor as well. Is there anything else you want to share with our parishioners? Any other experiences? You enjoyed CCD, I imagine. You yeah. like that? Yeah. What, what day were you? Were you Monday? Or Monday. Monday I afternoon? Monday. I was Monday on the Station of the Cross, so what else? Right, right. And who was your teacher? Who was your teacher for Mrs. C- Duke and Miss Scorponos, they're the best. Oh, they're the best. Yeah, we love them. They're really great teachers, right? They always keep it very interesting. Yes. You learned a lot. Good. Anything else you want to share with our parishioners? No. No? You're good? I'm good. All right. Well, thank you for playing Jesus and our Stations of the Cross. Thank you for coming on. And I just wanted all of you parishioners to meet this wonderful young man who had the honor of uh, playing Jesus. And there's one actor you should check out. His name is Jonathan Rumi, right? I don't know if you heard my homily a few weeks ago. I spoke about this TV series called The Chosen. It's all about the life of Jesus. But he gets to play Jesus. And he talks about how, you know, how honored he was and how kind of difficult it was. But I think you would enjoy watching some of his interviews, okay? That's kind of how it felt for me. Yeah, yeah. So you and Jonathan have something very in common, all right? So why don't we just wish everyone a happy Easter season, and thanks again for being on. God bless you, Alex. God Take bless care. you, Father Stephen. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Welcome everyone to our weekly video. Um, Again, here in the sanctuary of our church, interviewing one of our young parishioners. And this wonderful young man, Noah Radula, has uh, been involved really when pandemic started, but continuing even now to be part of this group called the Kids for Christ. It's uh, originally, it's kind of a movement started in the Philippines, Couples for Christ, Youth for Christ. Many of you know his mother, uh, Rhoda. She's often a lector here at church. Uh, but during the pandemic, Noah and some of his friends that are part of this group joined in an international rosary, which I thought was really cool, and I wanted to share that with all of you. So Noah, tell us a little bit about that. Tell us, um, you know, what the rosary, did you do it like every night, once a week, or once a month? Um, we usually do it every week. Every like week? Once a week, yeah. Okay, and so when you're praying the rosary, at the beginning, I imagine you're probably ending for the pandemic to end, right? Yeah and for the people who are sick with COVID. But now that the world has changed, COVID is kind of going away, thank God, right? What what are you guys praying for now? Um, We're praying for Ukraine. For Ukraine, for the peace in Ukraine. Good, good, good. And so this group, uh, Kids for Christ, and they're praying the rosary, right? It's, you guys are praying here in New Jersey, but you're really kind of connected to other groups throughout, right? So that's really neat. So, and when you pray the rosary, right, there's the joyful mysteries, sorrowful mysteries, glorious mysteries, and there's also what we call the luminous mysteries. And, uh, you know, those are the different things where we remember Jesus' life. Um, I always love to pray the rosary, and I always find it's a great prayer. Um, what's your favorite? If you have one of the sets of mysteries that you like more, the joyful, um, yeah. sorrowful, you like them all? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I always like the glorious mysteries. Those are always kind of my favorites because those are the ones that like last forever. 
right? Like the resurrection of Jesus and Mary going to heaven, right? Because that's what I've always liked. But each of them are really good and everything. But we're in the Easter season, right? And that's what we're, we're praying about and thank, thanking God for that. So I'm um, very proud of you. I'm really glad that you're part of this and that you organize this um, rosary going on. And is there anything else you want to share? Um, no. No, you're good? Yeah. You're good? All right. And we have to, I was saying to the other boy before, was, uh, we should probably have you be an altar server. Like mom's like, you know, she's sometimes a lector. Maybe you guys could tag team. I think you'd be very good at that. So think about it, right? I'm not going to put pressure on you, not in front of all these people. But uh, so parishioners, thank you for watching. When you see Noah at church, please congratulate him. And if you want him to pray for something, obviously this is someone who prays the rosary and uh, would be happy to pray for your intentions, right? Yeah. Good stuff. So let's say wave to our prisoners. Bye. Bye.